Okay, here I am huddling up, hugging up against a young apple, one-year-old apple tree going into its second year. Got pretty good growth the first year. Would like to double the height or the volume of the canopy this year. I'm sure we'll get there. Got bloom. Boy, do we have bloom. Big bloom. Okay, the bloom you have on your trees is somewhat a function of cumulatively how well you're taking care of the soil, the tree and its nutrient needs and its water needs, uh, but also very, very much a function of how much winter chill did you get? If you live in Michigan, Minnesota, Manitoba, you don't have to worry about having adequate winter, winter chill. In California, especially along the central coast, warm Mediterranean climate, we need chill. You need at least five, six, seven hundred hours of winter chill. Winter chill being, by definition, the cumulative number of hours with temperatures between 45 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This was a big chill winter. We got 900 plus hours. So that induces big bloom. Big in the sense of many flowers and big in the sense of big flowers with lots of pollen that can lead to lots of apples that are big. Big. Big is the operative word here. So where are we at? We're at the height of just past bloom. And you can see that's in evidence here. There are, I'm going to say, 50 flowers in front of me that are in the midst of blooming. Some like this one are just at what's called pink bud, about to unfurl, probably with the weather we're having, mid-60s in the next two or three days. Some at full bloom here. And some have bloomed, hopefully been pollinated, and have set fruit. Okay, what are the conditions that you need for good pollination? Well, you need the, as mentioned, heavy bloom. You need the agents of pollination, bees, native and non. And you need good weather. Temperatures, daytime temperatures, generally in the 60, 65 or more. It's preferable up to maybe the low 80s. Uh, sunshine needs to be abundant, hopefully low wind and hopefully little or no rain. To the degree you have those conditions, you will probably have a good fruit set and thus you're on your way to a good season. Let's look at this cluster here. And I say cluster because apples and pears have compound fruit buds. That is, they give rise to a cluster of two to six blooms and a little vegetative shoot. Uh, so here we have a cluster of apples. By and large, it bloomed, got pollinated, we hope, we'll see in a minute dropped its petals, except for this one bloom here. So growers are worry warts. You're always wondering, is this enough? Is this too much? What do you got? Do we have a fruit set? Uh, so one thing growers will do, you know, sh sh shortly after bloom, at petal drop is come around to the trees and it doesn't matter, apple, pear, plum, peach, nectar nectarine or what, and they'll, what I call, flick the, the blooms. And you just come around and you just say, okay, there's an apple set there, but is it really set? Because sometimes you get partial pollination and fertilization and the apple will subsequently fall off. So is it, is, is, is it set? I'm gonna flick, I'm gonna flick, I'm gonna flick, and I'm gonna flick, flick, flick. And then this one is, wow, it's dropping its petals even as we speak, flick. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six apples, a cluster of, and I've got 100% set. This is great. Yikes. This means we'll, if this is indicative of the orchard, we're going to have to get out here early and aggressively and thin. You need to thin out all but one. And usually the center bloom, it's called the king bloom, has the biggest flower, the most pollen, and will set the biggest apple. Uh, you want to keep that one. But if you can't tell, is this one bigger than that one? It doesn't matter. Keep one, only one and then keep the biggest one. Uh, and uh, the indications are uh, we're on our way to a, I would say hellacious, but heavenacious season in terms of fruit set. Now, we're not there yet, but we're off to a good start. We have a nice, glossy, healthy leaf growth. We've got, we had flowers, we had pollination, we've got fruit set, we've got to get after it and thin in the next three, four weeks. Uh, the earlier you can thin, and you want to thin within 30 days of petal drop.
There are so many segments of the season with fruits, in this case apples, that will determine yay or nay. Thinning your fruit in general, in this case apples, within 30 days of petal drop will give you a whole lot of nutrients resources going into the one remaining apple and it's going to give you a bigger crop. Bigger in terms of poundage, yeah, bigger in terms of the actual size of the individual apples. So.